is the tinfoil chef, a man with a video log. Hey, all, how's it going? Well, another day, another video. Anyway, I'm going to start right off with the answer to the question that I asked in yesterday's video with the description involved, who is the guy being talked about, and several people guessed that it was Barack Obama. And actually, no, it wasn't Barack Obama. Although it does sound an awful lot like him, doesn't it? The persons who guessed that it was Adolf Hitler was correct. That is who that bit of information was describing. Well, the reason I brought that up in the first place is because it's really interesting the parallels that can be drawn between Barack Obama and Adolf Hitler. Very interesting, don't you think? And maybe just a little bit unnerving. Anyway, got an email a few days ago with a really good picture in it. The subject line, the mother of all signs. And here it is. Kind of speaks for itself, don't you think? Continuing on, anybody remember the KFC Hillary meal? Well, it was a thing where you're supposed to get uh, two small breasts and a couple of large thighs. Well, I've heard rumor, unsubstantiated, that KFC, they're going to make up a new uh, chicken dinner, and they're going to call this one the Obama Cabinet Bucket. And it's a whole bucket of left wings and assholes. In other news, it has finally been revealed what is the real reason that the powers that be don't want you to put the Ten Commandments in government buildings and courthouses and stuff. And that's because you can't put things like thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not lie in a building full of lawyers, judges, and politicians because it creates a hostile work environment. And in other news, I'm working on the next episode of Fat Trek. I know I've said that several times, but I got a bunch of it shot today. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of fine-tuning tomorrow, and I'm hoping to upload part one of the second episode tomorrow. These episodes, if you take all the parts and put them together, they're going to be 8 or 15 minute episodes. I don't know exactly how long they're going to be, but I've decided to break them into three or four minute parts to keep them from getting too long because everybody on YouTube knows there's a lot of people that won't bother to look at something if it's more than three or four minutes long. I'll have annotation links and description links in each one to go to the previous and next part and eventually put, it, put each one on a playlist and so on. That's it for now and it's time for my exercise routine. Take it easy. I'm out of here. He is the tenfold chef and the frog just doesn't give a shit. Hello, it's Thursday, July the 22nd. You know, everyone concentrates on problems we're having in this country lately. Things like illegal immigration, hurricane recovery, and alligators attacking people in Florida. I personally prefer to concentrate on solutions for the problems, and really, if you think about it, the solutions are very easy. It's a simple three-step process. Step one, dig a moat the length of the Mexican border. Step two, send the dirt to New Orleans to raise the level of the levees. Step three, put the Florida alligators in the moat along the Mexican border. Now, are there any other problems you would like me to solve? There is one new subscriber, Russian Festival. Welcome and thank you very much for subscribing. The previous question of the day, and I honestly have no idea what the boob was thinking when he wrote this one. Has anyone ever performed brain surgery on you with a hammer? Today's question of the day, whose pants would you like to dump a pound of ice chips into? The dirty word of the day, nipper. Mr. Chef.